Hi there. Uh, so today uh, I'm gonna try to show you some ways to make a side chain in Scilab. So let's say you have a base. Yeah, I loaded a base and uh, some kick. So I'm gonna mute the kick and let's say we're gonna make full notes for the bass just to see the side chain so I can make fill. I have two notes. Okay, maybe more notes. So now I got the uh, one bass shot every 16. If we add the kick, it's making mess here. We can show the layers because they are over overlap. So you can uh, we can add a side chain. There are two ways to do that. For example, on the bass, you can enable the compressor. And here is a side chain. By default, it's off, but we can pick another sound. For example, zero. It's it's uh, sound zero. Zero, one, two, three. It's a kick. And then we can uh, lower the threshold. And now you see every time the kicks hit, it uh, ducks the bass. Here it's dry wet. So that's one way. There is another way, is a MIDI. You can uh, trigger, you can trigger a curve, a Bezier curve with the MIDI of uh, one sound. So I'm gonna switch off the compressor. It's MIDI sidechain here. Here it's the same, you can see a source. So I'll pick zero, my kick, and it's a uh, curve. By default it's 12, but you can pick any curve you want. And here it's the amount. So what does that, that mean? It's the curve, here's the 12, is retriggered every time the kicks hit. So what we want here, we want to make a curve triggers here and uh, control the volume of the bass. So over one beat. So my curve, I'm gonna make it over one beat. It's one four. And uh, if I press the cursor, every time the kicks hit, it tricks the curve. But I want the other way around. I want at the end it's full and at the start it's zero. So now we see we can control precisely with the, the basic curve. For example, this note I'm gonna lower. So now you see it's very precise. You can um, maybe cut at the end. So that's it. And uh, same here, you can adjust the amount. And here you have a really precise sidechain. That's it.